Ahem. Hmm. Okay. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video with Lim Views. Today we're going to be checking out two very similarly priced robot cleaners and that is the Ecovax D-Bot T9 and Roborock S7. So both are priced around RM2000 ringgit here in Malaysia for just the robots themselves. However, if you want a completely hands-free experience, the Ecovax D-Bot also offers its auto empty station that removes the trash from your robot vacuum after it's completed the job. Very cool stuff there. So for this comparison, I'm going to be focusing on five key areas straight to the point. We're going to talk about price, vacuuming, mopping, obstacle avoidance, and ease of use. So let's start off very quickly with price. The Ecovacs D-Bot T9 is retailing here in Malaysia for RM2199, whereas the Roborock S7 is retailing for RM2099. That's very close. So in terms of vacuuming, the Ecovax D-Bot T9 has a suction power of 3000 PA, whereas the Roborock S7 has a suction power of only 2500 PA. So that looks a little bit less, but in terms of actual use, both devices can clean very well, but because the D-Bot T9 comes with two brushes, it has a larger cleaning area. Also, the Ecovax D-Bot T9 has a unique feature and that is the ability to freshen your air while it vacuums your house. Nice touch. For mopping, both devices use different methods to scrub and mop your floors. Now, the Ecovacs uh, D-Bot T9 uses uh, the Osmo Pro 2.0 and it has a larger vibration amplitude and mopping coverage. On the other hand, the Roborock S7 uses its Sonic Tech, which works similar to the way an electric toothbrush works. So for this test, I dropped the same amount of juice and both were able to clean and mop the liquids off. But the main difference that I saw here was that the Ecovacs D-Bot T9 did it in just one scrub, whereas the Roborock S7 took three scrubs or four scrubs. So it's worth pointing out that the Ecovax D-Bot T9's mopping pad is also user replaceable and that means you can replace it when it's too dirty whereas the one on the Roborock S7 is the washable kind that means you can wash it at any time. So this is really down to personal preference. Next, let's talk about obstacle avoidance. Again, both devices uses different tech. The Ecovacs D-Bot T9 uses True Detect 3D, which is similar to the tech on your iPhone's Face ID, and the Roborock S7 on the other hand uses RR Mason tech, but regardless of the fancy names, the key takeout here is that the Ecovacs D-Bot tech allows it to recognize objects below 3 cm. So in real world use, that means the Ecovacs D-Bot T9 is able to avoid not just larger objects, but also smaller objects. The Roborock S7 on the other hand is able to avoid large objects like normal but completely ignore smaller objects. Finally, how user-friendly are both devices? Well, both can certainly avoid or clean carpets. They can also build maps very quickly and identify each room with different cleaning modes. So, which should you choose? My conclusion here is fairly straightforward. If your budget is really tight and you don't need perfect cleanliness, you can just opt for the Roborock S7. However, if you have very high expectations for your cleaning, you live in a larger space and you have lots of stuff on the floor, and of course, if you don't like to wash your mopping pads, then you should consider the Ecovacs D-Bot T9. Alright guys, that's it for this video. This is a very quick and straightforward comparison between the Ecovacs D-Bot T9 as well as the Roborock S7. If you have any more questions or if you yourself are using a, a robot cleaner at home, let me know down in the comment section what you think about these devices here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!